I don't see you. Ah, oh, there it goes. Slow. Wait, what? <laughs> You're off. You're on. You're off. Wait, are you on? You're off no. and on. Don't. Oh, there it goes. Don't it's you tell me. Loading video. We we are going. God damn it! Uh, if you just talk me. and go ahead. Go. Recording. Son of a bitch. I am actually recording now. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Oh, Beautiful. that's pretty nice. With the uh, you are dumb. You are so dumb. What? You've got my my Twitter names wrong. Uh, there are two L's in my name. I you thought I had it. Son of a bitch. No, you didn't. All right. Did not. Next time. I swear. Oh <laughs> man. Which way do I need to? I need to move toward my microphone. Whoop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> We're so we're so ready for this we're, today. We're totally professional. Right. Okay, <laughs> so anyone listening, the first Twitter name there, Darren Bell, that's me. There is another L in that name. I'm or dumb. at least there should be. Uh, I was in a rush. I wanted to just get it up real yes. quick. You, you always want to get it up. Welcome yep. to this week's episode. <laughs> we'll start as we always start. Screenshots from the last week. Let's take a look. Mm -hmm. So, this... This highlights what I really like to see, the flashiness of the new attacks. Mm -hmm. The only thing that has me worried is I hope it's not overly distracting. Yeah, there's a lot of colors and a lot going on right there. Yeah. Smash in and of itself is not an easy game to track. <laughs> so, Yeah. And, that's, uh, that's my only fear. Yeah, it took it took me a little moment just to kind of realize that it was DK just getting wailed on by the both of them. But that's that's interesting because I've never actually tried that in the other smashes to see if someone can get caught in simultaneous up Bs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because usually one cancels out the other, but I mean here yeah. it's like they they seem to be the right distance apart where you just you're just getting fucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it seems like that would be something to check. Right. So next we have Olimar I, and I thought trainer. this was pretty humorous. Olimar and We Fit <laughs> Trainer both mm. doing the warrior stance. <laughs> and Olimar is actually commanding. <laughs> this this was Tuesday's screenshot, and I thought this was great until later that day ah. there was a Nintendo Direct ah, in yeah. which they announced Jesus and Christ, confirmed the, the screenshots are going to freak the fuck out. <laughs> and, and Sonic is back in the game, yes. which to us, no big surprise. Yeah, I uh, well, at first I was not upset, but I was just kind of just like, eh, okay, whatever. I wasn't really that excited. But what really got me was the the video that came out with it, where it showed some of his move set and just how his animation is, and that made me a little more excited because the video itself, like, it shows like his dodges and things like that, and it's unlike other characters dodge animations like it's a lot uh, more fluid right. and uh, I don't know it just seems like it, they really worked on like his moveset and how he moves around the, the map and his attack set and things like that and it seems like I'm sure they'll probably change it up where it's more melee and less spin attack so um, you know I with the video it seemed like there was a decent amount of like uh, combination like uh, juggling moves that you can do. I'll have to take a look at that again. I guess I didn't see all of that. I, I wasn't paying close enough attention, I guess. Okay. But I've, I've always had mixed feelings about Sonic being in the game. I mean, if you look at all the other third-party characters, both of them, uh, Mega Man and Snake, mm -hmm. they both got their start on Nintendo consoles, so I think they kind of belong there. Yeah. Sonic... It's six one half dozen the other. No, he didn't start on Nintendo, but he's always been the big rival. Right. So he, I think the rivals deserve uh, representation in some way, shape, or form. But I don't know. He's he's a fun character to play as anyway. So I'm I'm glad to see he's back. Well, plus also uh, Lost World is only for 3DS and Wii U. Yeah, I mean it's it's more than just Lost World. They've got other games that they haven't announced yet Sonic games that are going to be exclusive for Nintendo Yeah. so now they're kind of in Nintendo's boat right and ironically all of Sonic's games that have been multi-platform have always sold best on a Nintendo system hmm so 
But yes, welcome back, Sonic. I just hope we see Snake again. We'll and then this shot, you see Mega Man and Sonic both up being. <laughs> Mega Man always looks so fucking happy. This this just made me giggle so much just because of the <laughs> them both of them using their up B at the same time. But I did I did like what Sakurai said in the screenshot for this in in the Miiverse was that yeah these two up Bs are basically identical. The dog will stay on the screen that other characters can use, just like Sonic's up B was. So, it confirmed what we had suspected. But would it, uh, like, say if you did it in midair, would it fall, much like it did in, in Brawl, like with Sonic's up B? That, that we still don't know. I'm wondering, because it is a dog, if he wouldn't try to save himself, yeah, might like, land on the edge? Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I doubt it. Doubt it'll be a rocket dog. <laughs> and this just looks like a shot tune Link <laughs> falling in Animal Crossing. I don't know what the hell they're trying to show here, but well, I think it was in the uh, in the comments mm -hmm. that Sakurai said was like Sonic has arrived or whatever kind of deal. I guess just because Link was the week before. Yeah, and and this is this is something I'm noticing every week they're announcing a new character as of late. Yeah. Peach, Toon Link, Sonic. Do you think we might be seeing a maybe an early year release? I mean, they have a lot of characters announced now. Yeah. No, it's it's like almost every week it's been a pretty big announcement. Yeah, so, so far we've got 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 characters announced. Right. So... And Sonic's down A. Or was that his down B? No, it was his down A. Yeah, okay. I just I just like Sonic's speed. I feel like if two people are playing in Brawl with Sonic and Mega Man, everyone else also has to be blue. <laughs> everyone has to be blue. So. But yeah, down A. Oh, holy shit. So. Indeed. And I believe that was all for that week, wasn't it? Yes, it was. That was yes, the last one. So, on to this week's topic. Fire Emblem. Speaking of blue. Blue characters. Speaking, speaking of blue characters. Uh, Fire Emblem, again, not a very popular American series. To, to start, it was Japanese only. At the mm -hmm. time that Marth and Roy were introduced in Melee, mm -hmm. Marth and Roy were just kind of tossed in at the last minute. They almost didn't even make it to the U.S. edition. They were going to be Japanese exclusive characters. Makes sense. Yeah. But they tossed them in on a whim and they're, nah, okay, whatever, we'll play with it. And it spurred a lot of interest. I know I had no idea who the hell they were. Yeah, and I I looked into it and thought it was neat. But since then, there have been so many Fire Emblem games that have come out in the U.S. And actually, the newest Fire Emblem Awakening was originally going to be the last in the franchise. Hmm. It had to do extremely well for them to do anything with the Fire Emblem franchise, and it did do extremely well. It's so I don't know what what it is at this point, but when it first came out, it sold at least. 300 it sold a lot it didn't sell, it didn't sell a million but but it did do extremely well i remember when it first came out for weeks you couldn't find it mm -hmm. so fire emblem has been saved but the question is from a smash brothers perspective i haven't played i don't play them as a primary in any way shape or form yeah and they they are far from my favorite characters because I find them kind of difficult to handle. Mm -hmm. Right. But. Um. Yeah. I mean, I. Uh, the only Fire Emblem game I actually played was the was the, was the 3DS one. Um. I. Did they first appear in Melee, right? Is that yes. What yeah, like I, I had never heard of it, but I knew a few people who did, and um, 
I don't know. It was just kind of something I was just kind of like, okay, whatever, cool, I guess. Yeah. But um, but no, I mean, after playing the, the 3DS one, um, what is it called again? Is it Awakening? Oh, Awakening is the right. one on 3DS. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I definitely like it. I'm enjoying it. Um, it's a pretty good, like, turn-based strategy kind of game. Um, yeah, so it's it's nice. I like it. Uh, you know, there's some pretty iconic characters, obviously, uh, that I can definitely see them adding into... Well, into I, iconic... Th- that's the thing, is that Fire Emblem's always been iconic to the Fire Emblem franchise, mm-hmm. but not really much outside of it. Right. So I can definitely see them because he's been in everyone. Marth, the new Marth from mm-hmm. Fire Emblem Awakening. Right. And probably Krom, who's the main character, but again, much like Ike in Marth, and much like Roy in Marth, I they feel so samey to each other that I wouldn't want to see that happen again. Right. I guess I would like to see them put in someone more along the lines of say, like a Frederick, a, a bigger, heavier hitter. Yeah, or maybe maybe it's one of the more unique characters. Later on, I I don't know her name, but later on you get characters that can turn into animals and things. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, she would be interesting if like that was her final smash was turning into an animal or whatever, and kind of just you kind of can yeah. take control for a little bit, something like that. That'd be kind of cool. yeah. I mean, I mean, th- th- there's a lot that they could do from a character standpoint. Mm-hmm. They have to have Marth because Marth is is a standby. In yeah. this newest Marth is a lot more interesting mm-hmm. from a visual standpoint. Oh yeah, I think than than the previous two versions. Right. But and they've only ever had one map. Yeah. One Fire Emblem map. Well, here's the thing too. I just thought of this because we've been saying when we've been talking about franchises that normally. Normally, it has to do with the franchise from the last generation or the last game that came out. So, would they still base the Fire Emblem characters off of the Awakening franchise because it's newer? Or would they go more of the the latest one? The one before that? Or was... Radiant Dawn. Radiant Dawn was on Wii. Yeah. There was... After uh, Melee came out, they came out with a Game Boy Advance version, a GameCube version, a Wii version, and now the 3DS version. So there's four American releases, to my knowledge. I'm probably wrong. So let me put that out there. <laughs> but, like, what I'm saying is, are, would we see the the Wii characters from the Fire Emblem franchise instead of the <laughs> Awakening ones? We possibly could. Because... I don't know because I'm trying to think where I was. Awakening, Awakening was released before they announced Smash. Uh, where is Ike from? Let me check the Smash Brothers wiki. <laughs> Smash wiki, because this is what we do. We need, on, we need uh, like, we need like uh, elevator oh. music or something. <laughs> do, 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 do. Ike, Ike is from Path of Radiance, so which was. GameCube? Another GameCube game, I want to say. Path of Radiance. Yes. Okay. So, if that's the case, then yeah, then definitely they would probably pull characters from the Wii game. Path of Radiance was a GameCube one, yes. There you go. So, they'd probably pull them from Wii, which I have... But I haven't played enough of it to really know the characters. Yeah. But you'll probably end up with another semi-generic swordsman. Yeah, probably. Which, which I, I don't want to see that because you can do so much more with it, and it should be much more interesting. But I would like to see them add things like vulneries as like a recovery item. Vulneries? Vulneries are little tiny vials that your character will carry. They get three uses and they each heal ten points of health each. Ah, uh, okay. So it makes sense for those to show up as just a little item that you could grab and heal for ten. That's right. Okay. Um, 
Or just, like, some of the weapons. Mm -hmm. Like, you could find a katana. Right. Like, there's one character, Long Ku, who starts off with an amazing katana that has a 30% crit chance. It's yeah. ridiculous. <laughs> they, could, they could do that. They could have a lot more... I think it'd be interesting, although I don't see it being very feasible, if they were to have like a mode that's quasi Fire Emblem, where you pick your Smash Brothers characters and put them out on the field and tactically move them around, but instead of going into and doing the Fire Emblem thing, it's a Smash fight. Maybe if it's like a... I want to say if it was a map, but that map match would be so long. That wouldn't be a match. That I, I would like to see that as a mode. That would be a really cool yeah. mode. Yeah. Like do a Fire Emblem cross Smash Brothers. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. So it turns into more of a chess match where each player picks six characters and you put them out on the board and you can't choose duplicate characters. Mm -hmm. So you have to decide where you're putting the characters you're strongest with on the board to try to conquer someone else's territory. And the thing is also with Fire Emblem is they always have like uh I can't remember the the order of things how like swords is or like axes is better than swords or whatever and lances are better than I just look at the arrow when I go to fight. Yeah. Yeah. Uh cuz that makes me wonder if that game mode if they would have like something where I could see it being like strength and agility. Like, it'd be strength, agility, and then one more. Speed. Well, like, that's agility. That's agility. Dum-dum. Mm. <laughs> oh. Uh. <laughs> uh, what, would it, what would it be? What would it be? Like, strength, agility, and throwing power? But I don't Throwing know. power is like, yeah, it's like common with everybody. I don't know. I guess, uh... I guess attack speed would be the only other one because there there's playing characters where their attack speed's really high up, but their damage output isn't as isn't as much. Maybe yeah. airtime, jumping. No, I could see it. I could, I could see it being attack speed because like look at the difference between like Bowser and Ganondorf, or between like Sonic and Meta Knight. You know, yeah, as an example, like it's two totally different things because you know. Yeah, they have a slower attack speed, but they're higher in strength. Whereas like Ike, where he's kind of fast, but he he has like a pretty good attack uh, attack damage. So I yeah. think I think it'd be those three: it'd be attack, attack speed, and agility. So kind of like you'd have to decide like which one would like counter between you know each fighter. Yeah, but I don't. I, I would love to see that kind of a mode. That would be so fucking cool. <laughs> but but they haven't got, gone into it other than saying that there won't be like a subspace emissary video type idea. Mm -hmm. Which, okay. But that doesn't mean that there's no single player. Yeah. I'm a little sad that they, that they really aren't doing that because I really liked that mode so much. I loved subspace emissary the first time I played through it. Yeah, I recently tried to play through it again, and it's like, eh. <laughs> yeah, it uh, it feels like a slog at parts. Right. I much I much preferred the adventure mode of the GameCube version. Right. So, so you're just going from. It's a side point scroll. to point. Yeah, yeah. And it feels it feels really good, but back to Fire Emblem. What do you think they could do for maps? I they did have the one I forget its name on Brawl, where you started on top of the castle, and then after a set amount of time, you were in the throne room where you could destroy the statues and things. Yep. And then after a set amount of time, you'd end up in the underworld. Right. Where you're on the big ro floppy stage, and then and I can't remember. I think it's Did only it three loop? different. Yeah. Did it loop? Yeah. Okay. Okay, yeah. And that's all we have to represent the Fire Emblem franchise from a stage perspective. Yeah, I can't really see any other way to execute that. Um, I don't know, because, again, we, we haven't played the Fire Emblem series enough to, like, kind of understand. But I can, I don't know, I just see it only as that, 
just like where it's just rotating between like the more iconic stages. Um, I would I would actually like to see one where it's a lot like the opening to Fire Emblem Awakening where you're in the forest and you're going through and, it, and it's like a forest meadow and you're fighting, fighting, fighting. Then night will fall and you're in the campsite then all of a sudden you see a big fucking thing open up, the ground splits, you get giant chasms, and the Risen start attacking in the background. Right. And then you might see the other Fire Emblem characters that you haven't seen before, that aren't playable characters, fighting the Risen in the background. They defeat them, everything mends, and then it loops. But again, we're talking about Awakening, whereas we kind of like already established that they most likely will be going for the Wii version. And well, that's then the if one they, that we don't really... If they are going for the Wii version, they could just do something similar. Just replace the Risen with whatever army's attacking. <laughs> and ta-da. You, like, have a giant battle going on in the background like they did in, in Brawl. Yeah. But I would like to see... I'd like to see something more than just, oh, we're in the castle. Oh, we're inside the castle. Now we're in hell. And... <laughs> It it just seems to me like one stage. I don't think that one's coming back. Mm. And I think they're going to end up doing a newer game. Hopefully in a better style than just Fade the 3. Right. Because yeah. I don't I don't know of any other stage that fades like that other than Wario. Yeah, but Wario is it like it makes sense cuz it it does at least transition. It doesn't do like mm. a crossfade like Fire Emblem because Fire Emblem is just like, oh yeah, crossfade, you're in a new area. Whereas like Wario, it just like, you know, it'll have the main stage and then it'll cue up the music where it's about to do a little mini game and then you're in you're in the mini game, then it'll back back out. So um, at least there, mm. there's like a smooth transition and it seems like it it works. Uh, whereas you know, I guess. I guess to kind of say it, uh, it seems like the Fire Emblem level was just kind of just thrown in there just because, and it was like last minute, and there yeah, wasn't, it, wasn't it, much effort was put into it. It doesn't have the same amount of polish as all the others do. Yeah. And, I, again, items are kind of hard to come by. Yes, I would like to see two Fire Emblem characters. New Marth, possibly. Or ju just two new characters. Yeah. And a new map. I'm okay with there not being Fire Emblem items because it's also niche and specific. Most of your items are, are the weapons. Yeah. And for better or worse, they're fantasy yeah, they're regular still, weapons. Yeah. Yeah, and like the laser sword or um I mean <laughs> pretty much the laser sword is the first thing I can think of. And you know what? What can you do better than a laser sword? <laughs> For yeah, as far right. as like melee. Oh, items golden come. hammer. Oh golden yeah, hammer. right, right, right. Golden yeah. hammer. Golden hammer. <laughs> the fucking squeaking golden hammer. That was always Fuck my. <laughs> God damn. I love that every time. <laughs> oh god. But yeah, yeah. Give us a better stage. Right. And and not to not to insult anyone that might have worked on it. It's not a bad stage. It just doesn't have the same level of polish and detail that all the others seem to. So, mm -hmm. but yeah. It, but it's hard to for something like Fire Emblem, that you know has been around, and I have I just have this feeling that like, yeah, there are people like you and me who know about it, and people who have been playing the franchise, they are aware of it. But I yeah. feel like with something where it's like with Mega Man and Sonic and, you know, you know, if we want S Snake back, you know, those are three franchises that are... If, if we do, we want Snake. Okay. So, so... And I think, I think, I think Snake's <laughs> going to be back simply because he was not in Sony Smash. He was in mm. Smash Brothers and it's Raiden. 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 Fuck those two guys. It's Raiden in the Sony version. Okay, I'll give you that. Um, but anyway, going back to my point, like, those are three franchises that are still, you know, 
I think, that are bigger than the Fire Emblem franchise. And without a doubt. Without and a- so because of that, like it just I just don't think I think they'll throw it in there just to kinda appease the Fire Emblem fans, otherwise there's gonna be, you know, goddamn people freaking out and shit like that and Well, that and Marth is such a popular tournament character. Yeah. He's such a popular tournament character. And because I've got Namco's help with this, trying to support the tournament community, yes, I think at least Marth and probably another character will be back. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, and I I would like an interesting stage. The the one... Yeah, the, the Brawl stage just feels like... The top feels like a version, like, just a slice. It feels like a mix of a bunch of other maps. So the top one feels like a slice of Peach's Castle. Yeah. And then the or, second um, one... Or I'd say, like, the Hyrule Temple. Hyrule Temple, yeah. Hyrule Temple, yeah. And then the second part feels like a slice of Luigi's Mansion, because you can break shit. Yeah. And then the the bottom part feels like a slice of any Metroid Lava map. Yeah. It feels... Uh, everything that's done in that map is done better elsewhere. So right. They need, they need a good, dedicated Fire Emblem level. Or just leave it out entirely. They were fine without a level in Melee. I... Yeah. I mean, I, one level I can kind of think of where it's just like... Not something where it's like the level's transitioning, but if it's just like, you know, the level just kind of stays however the layout is. But what I'm, what I'm kind of thinking more of is the background, like of what's going on. Like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, most of the Fire Emblems are always, well, I say most when it's like I've only been talking about Awakening. So I'm just going to speak on behalf of Awakening um, that it's like, an all-out war is about to break out, so I can kind of see them, like, being out, like, or maybe in the background there's just, like, this, like, uh, this plains area or maybe this yeah. desert area, and there's just this big epic battle going on in the background between, you know, um, between all the characters, and maybe you might see, like, uh, some of the more characters that that you play as or enemies that you've seen like kind of fighting they kind of jump into the foreground and things like that you can kind of see them a little more clearly or whatever like they're still in the background but i mean they're they're a little bit more visible um yeah so i mean that's that's kind of something i could see them doing as far as like as a polished um fire emblem game uh map yeah yeah so yeah i mean that's about all I can say about Fire Emblem, and we are right about our time. So, sir, next week's topic falls onto your shoulders. Yeah, um, I know I kind of discussed about it with you, and I know we kind of went over it in our our more popular episodes, actually. The uh, 3D, not the 3DS and Wii U, um, you know, what's the difference between the two? But what I wanted to go more into in depth was... Um, how can the Wii Pad um, be used or not used in the Wii U version? And I have no, a few. It can be I... not used in many ways. <laughs> well, I know, but you've heard some of my ideas that I presented to you, so. Oh um, yeah, yeah, the, it, yeah. So, um, but you know, if there's anything else, and uh, if we run short, then we'll talk about something else as well, some other franchise. Possibly. I don't think we'll run short. I don't no? think we'll run short. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Nope. There's plenty of ideas. Nope. Nope. All right. All right. Nope. Jesus. Interesting note. Do you know what the pad is used for in Mario Kart? Because I announced it. No, I have no idea. Horn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello, freelance spy. Uh, yes. Do you have? We have someone in the chat. Spy. <laughs> I, yes. I. I apologize, spy. You did miss most of this. However, we will be back next week. Unless if there's anything that you'd like to chip in about the Fire Emblem franchise that we were talking about. But if you have something intelligible to say, because apparently we didn't. <laughs> so. Yes, we really just rambled on for 20 minutes about... about just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
but uh, but you you can catch the catch us on. I'm surprised you don't have your YouTube up there. Uh yeah, well, cuz I could the only reason why I kept it on Twitter is because if I have more shit, it's just going to like stack up. <laughs> it's just going to be this long fucking paragraph of just <laughs> shit you could just connect this with. Um so I figured Twitter would just be easier cuz um I don't know. I'd say most people have it. Most, yes. Um, Hold on, I I wasn't actually logged into Twitch. I was trying to reply and I couldn't. Terrible, absolutely terrible. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> there so on you that go. Note, on that note, I I'm going to stop recording. Thank you for listening. Yes. And uh, catch us next week. We will be. Tweeting out on the Utterly Geek uh, Twitter page under with the hashtag Smash Attack. Rather not being replaced by. Yeah, we basically Lu- Lucina is the main character from the Wii version. Oh, okay. I know that much. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but I can I can see it, it being Lucina and Marth in it. Like we we were mentioning earlier that Marth is such a popular character that I don't see him not making a return. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there you go. And so it, there's our. We might we might actually have, but for that to happen, we would have to have Fire Emblem characters from two different versions. I can see Marth from Awakening and Lucina from the Wii version. Okay. Potentially, because they they wouldn't change Marth's move set. They just update the look. Yeah. It's been out long enough where they could update the look and the animation's all there. So, and I know we were talking about saying. I know I'm going a little, a little bit off topic here, but like, you know how we were saying how oh we each character kind of deals with the last generation game that came out, or the previous game, but I, I know we said that about with Fire Emblem and everything. It would be the Wii version, but Sonic. I don't know if you noticed in some of his screenshots that he had some of the lost world uh, I did notice there. that yeah I noticed that yeah his so, screenshots had the lost world so that's so, why it's kind of like they could have you know I guess if it's like from a aesthetic standpoint they could probably do the newer Marth from from Awakening I can see them doing new Marth from Awakening Lucina from the old one to get the handheld and the consoles both versions, both newest versions out there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So, so there you go. That makes sense. So that way they cover both both grounds. Of course. So. Thank you, Freelance Spy, for your question. <laughs> yes. And if you and want to, you can subscribe to my channel. We and normally try to start around 4 o'clock on mm-hmm. Sundays, which normally slides to about 5. Right. Well, I've been trying to get you on oh, that for you, a bastard. Good, a good magic user? A good magic user? I want to see... Shit, what's her name? She's my favorite character from Fire Emblem Awakening because I am a piece of shit. Uh, <laughs> magic user. Listen, I'm just researching. Don't don't worry about me. I need that elevator music, man. I gotta, I gotta get it or something. <laughs> I gotta get something to, to play. Hold on. I'm a opening characters. Let's there see. we go. Don't worry about me. Do boop a do. Oh, you can't get the old Marth. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> characters. Hey guys. Hey, I thought I remembered her name. Muriel. Thank you, Muriel. Muriel oh, okay. is the character. I would love to see her as a playable character. Okay. Just. All, oh, that would be really fucking cool because then each and every one of her different types of attacks could be the different spell books. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, her, yeah. Her side B could be fucking thunder. Her down B could be fire. And then... Yeah, you know what? We don't have enough, like, magic characters. In... Her regular B could be whatever the hell has been plaguing my life in the most recent levels that I've been playing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> whatever it mm. is. Yeah. Yes. Magic users. Yeah. Magic users. Yes, we do put this on YouTube. Yeah. There's a whole oh, there's a whole playlist. He puts this on YouTube. Yeah. I am a lazy fuck and I'm supposed to be putting them on <laughs> iTunes, but expect them all to come today. Yes. 
<laughs> there is the link for the entire playlist of Smash Attack. Um, we do... I don't think we... Uh, yeah, it wasn't until episode 4 where we started kind of talking about... Well, I mean, I know it was episode 2 when we started talking about specifics, but I didn't label... I didn't start labeling them until, like, episode 4. Yeah, we but, do, we kind of clusterfuck this together. But now, <laughs> now it works kind of well. <laughs> yeah. I remember episode 1, we were just like, uh, Yeah! We! <laughs> this is a thing we want to try to do. Uh, yeah. Just okay, we've uh, we've we've run a little long, and so we thank you for your for your input, freelance spy. Please, please join us yes. <laughs> again next we'll week. Here next week, talking about the Wii U pad. Wii U pad, and well, to a lesser extent, the 3DS lower screen. Oh, okay. They bundle together. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you then.